One star. Horrible bot, horrible developers. Don't use this bot. Catbot responds. I wonder why. In our support server logs, it shows we banned you for DM advertising your furry paradise server and then spamming slurs and attempting to ping the whole server asking for Robux when confronted. Also, it's almost like this bot isn't a horrible bot. You're just a horrible person. And the bot's really good at catching those. Yikes, buddy. What's going on, Marachodes? It's your boy, Long Nail, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash quit your BS. Let's get into it. Three days ago, I told a girl I liked her for the first time in my life. Today, I helped her pick out an outfit to wear to go on a date with another guy. Don't sink to that level, dude. Break it off. Respect yourself. It's RP LMAO. Dude has multiple posts where he alternates from a guy to a girl and has posted multiple different girls' pics claiming to be them. Like this one, which is extremely easy to find with a Google image search. His nonchalant responses make it obvious enough. Probably some weird sort of thing he's got going on. No, no, no. Not, not probably. Definitely some weird sort of thing that's going on here. And how can you just act like... This dude's supposed to know that this guy is RPing with himself and just switches back and forth randomly. Again, I guess if, if that's what you find joy out of, go ahead and do it. But you can't expect people to not be confused and just automatically know what you're doing. Found this puppy in my local dog house. Look how happy it is to get some affection. This image literally says via 9gag.com. <laughs> so lazy you can't even crop out the watermark, which I guess is a good thing because now everybody knows you're a fraud and you just take other stuff for upvotes, which honestly, you didn't even get that many. So was it really worth it? Probably to this dude because probably doesn't have much going on in his life, but maybe he'll learn a lesson as this comment gets more upvotes, his post will get more downvotes. That'll teach him a lesson. When you buy a new car, they always try to upsell you on a better warranty or tons of add-ons that will roll into your payment. What they don't tell you is they're two to three times more expensive than it should be, and it's their way of taking advantage of you. Don't let them take your money only to send it out to someone, or even worse, do it themselves using an inferior spray ceramic and call it a ceramic coating or some cheap paint protection film. At my shop, we use industry-leading System X Ceramics and Stack Dino Shield PPF. We are certified installers with a real coating and a real warranty. You'll not only save money, but you'll have a specialist that actually knows what they're doing and takes pride in their work. Don't waste your time with dealer upgrades. Call me instead and have it done the right way. Yeah, it's too bad that that Subaru in your pick is wrapped, not painted. It used to be mine. Oh, that's embarrassing. And people are reacting to that comment, which means they're seeing it. And another thing, if somebody is trying to sell you on why they're better this hard, like, like they're trying to convince you so hard that they're so much better, it's probably because deep down, they know they're not better and they're trying so hard to convince you that they are. But again, typically when these people try so hard to convince you of something, it's because they're not that, and they're trying to make up for it. So, lesson learned. If you see a post like this, probably just ignore it. And if you see a post like this, with a comment like this, definitely just ignore it. I made this three years ago in my parents' basement. Still feels like my greatest achievement. Funny, looks just like this from DeviantArt in June 2010. Proceeds to link it. And I mean, I guess this dude went at least a little far back. So maybe he was putting forth some effort, but putting his effort in the wrong places. You know, you could probably create something like that with enough time and practice and patience, but why would you waste your time doing that when you can just rip off somebody else? The Statue of Liberty actually was planned to be a black woman, but the idea was scrapped because so many people were against the idea of a black woman as the symbol of liberty. This has been debunked numerous times. Fact check, 
inspiration behind original Statue of Liberty design. Reuters, July 10, 2020. The full text of the post reads, the original statue was a black woman given to us by France to pay homage to these people that were brought here by force. From that same Reuters article, social media users are circulating posts which claim that New York Statue of Liberty was originally modeled after a black woman. This primary claim is false. The original model of the statue was inspired by the figure of a female Arab peasant enlarged to colossal proportions. Okay, wait. So, what was it actually based off of? I mean, honestly, I've never seen it, so I don't even know that much about it. I just know it's a real big statue, and there's like three of them. Guys, what's it based off of here? Somebody decode this for me. I'm tired, and I don't have the brain power. Meanwhile, in Paris, that's not Paris. It's New Jersey. Can confirm we don't put train departing in France. We prefer to use French usually. Oh, that's a pretty easy way to debunk something. They say, oh yeah, it's in this country. But then nothing from that post is in that country's language. Yep. Maybe if you're going to try to lie about it, at least do the most basic form of checking your image before posting it. I mean, some of these people are so lazy, it's really mind-boggling how they thought they would never even get caught. Of course you're going to get caught. You're getting caught instantly. Right away, dude. Right away. One star. I see a lot of men going to this place for a massage. I've been once, but I did not feel comfortable. And I heard disgusting noises coming from next to where I was having a massage. Def, not recommend for ladies. If you want a relaxing massage, go elsewhere. Response from the owner. This person never been here for massage services. Just spammed from other place. If you want to know where she's going from, just read all her reviews so you'll get your answer. Okay, so basically, I'm assuming this is some competing massage parlor just trying to trash their competition based on nothing. Literally just trying to trash the competition to drive business to them. Guys. If too many people do this, then we can't trust reviews and they're basically useless. I mean, I've seen like news stories about fake reviewers and people paying to have other people write realistic reviews. Like I'm sure if you go on Fiverr, you can have somebody rate your product or service without them ever using it. It's like the integrity of reviews is going completely down the drain and almost so much so that it's becoming useless. Now, I have seen some platforms try to rectify this, but mm, who knows how good of a job they're doing. All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash quit your BS. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you want to help support the channel for free, anytime you have any shopping to do on Amazon, just click the link in the description down below. Do your shopping as regular. It won't cost you anything extra and it'll help support the channel. So I'd really appreciate it. Till next time. Peace.